All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How are all my adventurers doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Fantasia. Our playthrough through Archer. Oh god, excuse me. So, um, I finished out my sprite off stream. Just because that was the smartest thing for me to do. Just catch up everything at least. But that doesn't catch up. But, you know. Hey, it is what it is. I'm broke now. I used all my gold on getting that up. And if I don't do quests and start doing that, I, uh... I get largely in debt. <laughs> so as I said before, we're only going to follow the Kozlo, uh... Or Kozlo. Whichever one it is. But yeah, we're only going to follow this, uh this storyline. If we need to go to other places, we're probably going to reject those quests, because I do want to have some quests to do on Reincarnation. I don't remember if they redo all the quests for Reincarnation. I don't think they do. Because it's been a while since I reincarnated, and my Druid is the only one I've actually, like, fully reincarnated on. Oh my god, you dick. I mean, at least you're a you know what? At least you're full on everything. At least you decided to do that when you're full on everything. I really got too much feedback about from you guys about if you guys want longer videos or shorter videos, or if you guys want me to keep my hands off of my archive or use it. I guess because not many people are into the series yet. So I guess I'll start making those choices myself then, which is fine. I say push comes up, come to shove. I should be doing these while I'm out of here. Wait, are these the right ones? I don't know, Grand Slam Wolves. I like to save my uh, teleport stones. I really don't like using them. Especially like early game. But I'll probably use like anything in my archive if it, you know, kind of helps towards like cutting down on recrafting something so if I already have a yellow weapon of a certain gear I'm probably just going to go ahead and take it out of the archive so that'll be probably late game stuff unless people say something I mean nobody said anything yet so I guess it's whatever at this point um all right let's go grab all the quests so there's quite a few quests on um, the planes. Some of them won't open up until like certain levels, if I remember correctly. I'm almost level 12, though. Oh yeah, I forgot I did sell that book, didn't I? Oh, I could also use one of my mounts. Well, my... uh. Isn't it the line mount? I can use that, right? I think it's... I don't think it has a level... Level to it. Yeah, it doesn't have a level to it. I could use that. But I'm not going to. I forgot all about the other dragons. Oh yeah, technically... I, I totally forgot that you do get a mount for free. And it's inside of this. If I remember correctly. Either that or it was this. Uh, we're gonna take... Let's take mana. Just because we are facing some mana issues. Okay, yeah, the bird mount comes in at level 15. If my sprite wasn't... Didn't get that event and... Whoops. If my sprite didn't get that event and lower its stamina, I would have him collect all this. Uh, there is a thing that hopefully the developers will change sooner or later. Is for picking up certain loot. I forgot how you do that. 
do this. I don't think it's... I don't think I have access to it until later on, right? Where sprites are able to, like, pick up certain items. I think it's the combat system. Hopefully they change it to where your sprite can pick up quest items only. I'd appreciate that. Because sprite... Because some of these items' names are all white. Because you can set the quality for your character to pick up certain gear. I gotta say, versus like... How do I say it? Gravitation versus any other game, when doing dungeons... Oh, that was delayed. When doing dungeons, you don't feel fully accomplished because... Because the enemies don't drop gear. That's the whole thing with other MMOs, that you feel very accomplished when a boss drops your gear. They kind of totally get rid of that with this whole sprite system. So you don't get the taste of victory. I wish there was dungeon gear that was like actually really good. And it was on par with like I think Trial and Merch is somewhere else. I'm going to have to find out. But I wish there was gear that was like on par with crafted gear. So people can take the dungeon route, or people can take, or people can take the um, crafting route. You know, have have some choices available. You know, put some different stats on those gears. Because who knows? Maybe crafting gear will be better towards something you're trying to build. I'm not say where the wolf's at. That's just how I feel. And the only reason I'm not skipping ahead is just because I wanted to talk about that. I just feel like it's it just sort of throws a lot of things off. When it when you're comparing it to other MMOs. Other tradi traditional MMOs. But then again, I love Grand Potato. I do. Oh, Necromancer. I love the hell out of Grand Fantasia. Where is this quest? Is it a uh, jail? Oh no, I think I know where it is. I think it's in uh, Blue Bay. I didn't use that quest book until now. I could just teleport there. Uh, this is the anniversary event, by the way. Uh, this anniversary, you can get a few minor things like weapon skins, stuff like that. I think they might give you enough to where you can probably make a good costume out of it. Like a static costume. So I guess that's not too bad. There's Q and A. There's Santa. There's another costume you can get. What do you get in here? You get some thrones. If I remember correctly, those are thrones at the very bottom. And some fireworks you can assume. Huh. Eh. That's neat, I guess. I will say this, Grand Potential does have, like, an older MMO look still to it. Nothing much is truly changed. Funny enough. <laughs> Even with it being, like, what was it, 2001 or something like that? It's been a long time. I, I don't even remember. It's, it's still, to be honest, has... Has it felt like it aged that much? And I love that. There's just a lot of design choices I wish 
would change, like, quality of life wise. I mean, they already fixed, like, one of the quality of life things, and that was, like, using. Let me hide this. Because that's a different area. I gotta have to figure out where that is. But, um. What's that saying? Oh, yeah. I don't know. We gotta collect quests over here, too. But yeah, quality of life. They already changed one to where you had to turn in like these little field essence to the altar one by one. Now you can just turn them all in as a bulk, which is fantastic. That's how they've changed a lot of different things. Like if you guys have been on my stream before and watch me farm Nightmare Quarter for my Druid. They changed things like that. I could just turn it in all, all in one. Fucking fantastic. I'm happy they changed that. That that was also a nuisance type thing. Are clone beasts on top of that list? Yes, yes they are. What's this? Please be something I actually need. Nope. Nothing I need. Oh. Uh this is a dark sprite messenger. This is how you get the emblems for dark sprites. Those are randomly dropped among enemies, so just playing the game, you'll find them. Alright, just hit level 13. That's great. That's great. Two more levels, and we can get our mount. Then, oh yeah, we also go through a uh, archer path soon. We become what was it? Yeah, we just become archer. Then we'll get uh, extra skills and stuff like that. Oh, we do get dual wielding. Dual wielding does open up. I was about to say I'm pretty sure we do get dual wielding, but it's after like when you get to archer, which is fantastic. Like I said, but um. Some more quality of life things I want to do, well, see them do, is uh, revamp fucking reflection damage. And a lot of the in-game bosses that have reflection damage everywhere. If you guys aren't, if you guys are new to Grand Fantasia, I will let you know now. Reflection damage is all over in-game. That's another thing that throws new players off. Well, players who've worked towards in-game is reflection damage. Because they're trying to force you to go in with a group. And to be honest, Grand Fantasia has always been like single player friendly. To those who can, you know, afford that. Going in with a group is great. But it's also not really beneficial. <laughs> Round Robin system to where you have to roll for gear. And players tend to not like sharing. Let's say that. We don't like sharing, so we more than most of the time like this, you know, solo. Now we're gonna turn this one. In. We tend to solo a lot of dungeons, especially when we can learn them. So I'm hoping they do something about reflection damage, and I hope they revamp it to where it can actually count towards defense and other stuff like that. Because I don't, I don't feel like it counts towards defense that I know of. I would have to full on defense the hell out of my out of my druids just to understand that. If, but if any other high player knows, because my druid is the first thing I've gotten. To actual in game, and I want to know is reflect damage even affected by defense? I don't feel like it is, considering I've seen people people in PvP also die to like a full reflection druid or a full reflection pally. Then it just kind of spins in your mind. It's just like, so where where's the fine line of this? <laughs> like I need to know. 
because I don't feel like it's is negated by anything. I don't even think it's lowered by damage reduction gear or anything like that. So if anybody have any information on that, I would love to know. Nice. Okay, so now we have the Frank's Revenge quest. The only reason I don't like the army quest is just because I have to keep going in and out of that uh of the city just to complete that quest. And I'm also trying to save all of my um, transport stones into like late game, especially when I need to collect certain dungeons, dungeon quests. Because um, there are certain spots to where you have to pick up dungeon quests. Um, Perry Cave is one of them. Perry Cave is one of them. So there should be a guy here. That gives you a quest for it, and I, if I remember correctly, it's also somewhere else on the map as well. Hopefully I can do Prairie Dungeon for this uh, video. That's at least my goal. I want to do run, one run of that, so it might take quite a while. Really depends. It really depends, actually, now that I think about it. Because, like I said, my speed is in the, it's not the most sound thing right now. And to, um, I can get this mount. I think it's like, I think the mount gets like, uh, yeah, 35% speed. I'm not going to take this one out because I've decided to give you guys a full experience of everything you're going to have to experience when you get into the game. So questing will be a little bit slow from the start, obviously. But for you guys, you guys will actually have these transport stones that you can use at any time. If you choose to waste them all, well, use them all if you can. I mean, you'll get more as you complete stages. I think it's 10 every, every time the quest for it pops up. So they come in pretty handy. I mean, these transport stones were also rare. They didn't hand them out like this. And today did the whole quests below 85 change. So every quest below 85 now gives a percentage of XP now. Instead of it becoming useless if you skip it. So let's say if I was a high level, I can go there and get like a, get like a chunk. Well, I wouldn't say it's percentage based. I think it has a cap to it, maybe. Can't really test that with my uh, druid. So I might go on a higher level character. I think my keymaster might be able to do that. Stop changing that. Thank you. So now I can talk to all these people. I'm going to go do that now. Also, while we're on the subject, there is also a few other quality life of life things I want to see in the game, too. This is something that's a lot of players add in as add ons for a lot of games that allow add on like World of Warcraft, Guilds War 2. I want to see a DPS meter. I want to see a threat meter. I want to see a hill over time meter. Those things are essential quality of life things that a lot of MMO players enjoy using. And I feel like that would be a great addition to the game. Instead of just looking down here at the combat, seeing how much damage you're doing, you know, it helps. You know, if they want us to go in dungeons or raids together, it kind of, you know, incentivize working together. Because you want to know how much aggro you're taking away from your from your tanks. Who are, who are the people who are actually tanking. That is something I desperately want to see 
in Grand Fantasia. But if you guys are going to start Grand Fantasia, I would recommend like fully preparing yourself for solo. It's not too hard up until like 63 or so. It's a lot easier for certain people, but not easy for everyone. Depends on what class you're playing. But it's a lot more fun if you bring like at least a duo. Because a lot of the game can be completed with a duo. Even with the whole reflection damage being in. And I'm not looking forward to how much... How many things I'm going to have to do for upgrading my gear. Because upgrading your gear is very costly. And there's going to be a lot of goat farming. Well, a lot of dungeon runs, let's say that. Dungeon runs are also an easy way to gain some goat. But with a price that people will sell those uh sell those items is Yeah, not not a happy happy thing to look at. It's mostly because they're not starting out from like a new fresh new player perspective. They're more of like, alright, that stuff is in my archive, I can just change that put that there. Oh, I can send this character gold since my main character is like overwhelmed with gold. Stuff like that. It's gotten to the point where gold is fucking useless in bargaining with players to where they're starting to bargain for magic play. It's, it's the comedy's bad. So my job here is basically to show you guys things you can do to avoid that whole situation. At least. <laughs> Try. Yeah, there's one thing you're also got to remember about Grand Fantasia is that Grand Fantasia takes patience. It takes a lot of patience. The only reason I say that is because you're not going to be able to just stomp a dungeon by yourself, like, immediately. If you are a solo player, it might be a little bit harder for you to do. But... Also, the thing is, if you are a person that doesn't mind playing with people, it is actually easy to find people to play with. But there are also still players that charge for their services of helping you. Yes, we're still stuck in that MMO economy. <laughs> Either that, or you can go for a looking for group search instead. There could be somebody out there trying to group up with others. Could be. What server did I jump on? I mean, it is kind of late right now. Like, I'm on world. I'm on the main area where you see most people. But then again, most people have already passed this level. And have no reason to restart a character. Just because they're already dedicated to that character. Alright. One more level, and I'm level 15. I can go to Archer. Which would be freaking fantastic to get out of here off that. The sad part is I'm going to need a sword more likely. Depending on how these next skills like. You know kind of set that tone. Uh, oh yeah let's go. Let's go try and get another shell. Because there's something I can actually do right now that I can make that bow. So I'm knowing because he's level 18. I can actually scavenge uh, this bow and hope for enough uh, life essence. Where I can craft that weapon. Alright, time to turn into the quest. Oh, okay, this bow is 100%. Good. Uh, scavenge. Open. How many want I get out of this? Oh, I can get three. Okay, that's perfect. Especially if I can get all those. I can immediately make that bow. But I also need to make this, so... After he's done with that, I need to... 
send my sprite out to grab that as well. There are some pretty good farming spots for gold as well. Like, you can sell the essence that you get inside of dungeons. Like, people love those for full reputations. Because some people need those fames and reputations for their characters to use certain, like, passives, abilities like that. And that's also a good gold source as you're repeating those dungeons. I need one more for this. Then I can have this bow ready for a uh, Perry Dungeon. Because Perry Dungeon is going to start leveling us up quick as long as I solo it. Uh, that's also another thing. XP splitting. People don't really like that if they're trying to like fastly level up. But if you're trying to actually like enjoy the game, <laughs> party up with people. <laughs> Trust me, the experience is a lot more fun if you party up with people when playing Grand Fantasia. This is just a um, preparation to get you guys more know the suffering of soloing. <laughs> Even though, like I said, suffering suffering isn't all that huge when it comes to like reputation, but it depends on if you're new or a seasoned veteran. If you're new, then it's definitely going to be fucking difficult. <laughs> Okay, did I get everything? Yes, I did. I can make this. Another quality of life change I hope they do is the sprites. Like I said, the sprites XP thing needs to be... The sprites level on all of its stuff needs to go up with you instead of... Well, your main sprite. I was, I was going to pitch this idea, but I'll say it here. I believe the sprite itself... Your main sprite, your main guardian sprite, should be synced in with your level. So if I'm level 14, all of you should be level 14. Because this is hell to bring up. Versus like other sprites that aren't, you know, your main guardian sprite. Which is fine because it's kind of like, these are subs. I can level up those. It just makes more sense that way. Because like I keep saying, the sprites get majorly out-leveled. Especially after doing a solo dungeon. I don't think they expect players to do dungeon solo. Well, they were expecting it. Now the players have been doing that for like, I don't know how long, years now. That's the beauty of Grand Fantasia, dude. If you, you want to solo something, you fucking can. You just gotta prepare around it. I say, like I said, reflection damage is a bitch. You have to figure out something towards that. <laughs> this is also another fun little thing. These are all Kozlo's uh, little areas that give you XP for doing these quests. So if I was to turn this in... Well, if I was to do repeat quests, you would actually get reputation for those. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go fight the spider now. The spider has... It's kind of crazy. This spider actually has been a noob killer. Because I've seen a lot of noobs back then die to this spider. I don't think it's been changed at all. I think people have just been better prepared for it now. If you have arachnophobia, prairie dungeon is impossible for you. I'm just gonna say that now. <laughs> I mean, you'll probably stop at uh, Frank's Revenge, considering you have to literally walk through there and get water inside of a freaking bottle. Yeah. Good luck with anybody who has arachnophobia, because there's also a spider in the dungeon. Damn.
Oh, that missed? Well, shit. Okay, then. Do those poison stack? No, they don't stack. Oh, that's kind of sad. That's how I think those posters should activate. This is what I mean. This spider has killed a lot of players. If anything, your rotation should be strike. It's a stun. Strike. Stun. Yeah, there we go. Considering it was a boss, I didn't think it would affect... Oh no, I guess it's an elite, not an actual boss. This is kind of why I say Archer has, like, the most annoying start-off. Just because of its kit. And you putting away your main damage, which is your bow or rifle. That's why. Anyway, Russell should be able to level us here. If you guys are going to play duo, make sure to bring a healer. Or you guys both be tankish. So, if you're going to do a make sure your friend is a saint or a druid. Preferably a saint, to be honest. Because there are some duo combos that are, like, very strong for the game. What's this? Don't know what the hell that is. But, anyhow... We have a lot of new quests that we can actually do now. Uh, Darkest Stage is for Dark Sprites. I can also open uh, this. Oops, this. Oh, it's level 20? Oh, it gives 40%. Oh, yeah, I can buy a mount, but I think it's like pretty decently priced. I hate looking at this inventory, not gonna lie to you. I'm so used to having like a huge bag to where this doesn't bother me looking at. <laughs> I would normally buy some bags from like a vendor and send them over to new characters, but... Considering we're doing this run, yeah, it's not gonna be a fun time. I will tell you this, as soon as it is time to class change, class change. Because you will lose a massive... a lot of XP. If you just keep questing without going to your uh, class master. Like I said, the, the game's pretty. pretty slightly healthy. As I said, it's not, it's not completely dead or anything. It just depends on like what time. Because this plaza would normally be filled with like a lot of high levels. Most of them are just chilling, waiting for uh, war bosses as well. Wait, why did I do that? Just lost XP on that. Oh my god, I have to go to jail for this? Oh, that's annoying. That's one example. Your uh, the XP you use for quests don't go over. Also, another strat that people use is when you're level 61 most people will go out and fight monsters and keep that same XP because the more you level up the less XP you get from certain mobs and the harder mobs you're gonna have to fight so that is the thing The only thing that sucks for new players is if they don't know where the hell this character is. 
and end up going to like some other starting area. It's just like, where is this character? Just read your quests. And go to a teleporter. <laughs> read your quests, bring up the map, start looking. You can even push this and it will take you directly to where you need to be. Even point to where that is. Say if I wanted to go here, it will glow right here then. Oh, Jesus, I have to still have to talk to you? Uh, Classmaster's here, so it will automatically finish this. That's one of the many things you got to actually do, is if you're like very confused as a new player, you're gonna have to start reading your quests. Um, evasion, damage taken, reduction of... The crit isn't very important. Right now I'm going to be suffering. Considering that a lot of my... <sighs> a lot of my, uh... What is it? Defensive properties are going to be going off here. And when I say that, I mean, I'm going to have to face tank a lot of shit. <laughs> So now I have dual wielding. So I can dual wield weapons. And now my DPS is going to be starting. This is a, another ability, charge ability. I normally don't like having multiple charge abilities. Yeah, there's another charge ability. Like I said, I don't normally like having multiple charge abilities. But have fun. You're going to have a lot of charge abilities. That's the thing I just really dislike, is having charge ability after charge ability. Jesus Christ. Because it's not fun to deal with that. Damn, okay, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a headache to deal with. Jesus Christ, brother. Why do I have so many charge abilities? Uh, this cannot be learned until I reincarnate. So once I get to like level, I think 66, I can reincarnate and go back to level one and replay again. But I ain't. I gain an extra skill and more perks. So extra little stats to like gears I find, and it's a lot easier to go through. Depending on the difficulty of Archer, I might do that at level 66. Might not. Who knows? Yeah, let me go see how much mounts cost. Because I don't remember that being level 20.
I can go to Coconut Island right now if I wanted to. That's one of my area quests. That's my Spry Island quest. Mount Dealer. Yeah, okay, I, I could have already bought this actually. I think I was overthinking it on something. I totally forgot you can actually upgrade this thing, too. May I, can I help you? <laughs> Are you just following me? You know what? I welcome it. Feel free. <laughs> I now have a traveling companion. But, um... Let's change that so you guys don't get blinded. There's a lot of, uh... Different classes that have easier start-offs. Like I said, Warrior has, like, really good survivability. Because I played a little bit of Berserker, and Berserker, dear god, they they changed that class into something amazing. And that class is, like, absurd. Because I, I don't think I've ever seen, like, Warrior have, like, so much regen. <laughs> or maybe it's the way I built it. I would actually have to go back and play it a little bit more. Uh, nah. I'm good. Appreciate it, though. Where are you trying to take me? Are you trying to abduct me? Go away. Leave me alone. Oh, no. It's an actual flying tosser. Please. No. <laughs> Please, no. No, none of this. I refuse. No share rides. Stop it. I have places to be. Things to do. <laughs> Stop trying to abduct me. I... I I refuse. I I resist. I resist this abduction. Stop. No. <laughs> oh yeah. For um, late game. If anybody ever sees one of these scorpion mounts, they are really good for the outside world. Because you can't use mount combat mounts in dungeons. If you ever find this mount. It is probably one of the best mounts we have in the game just because it has short animations and all of your attack speeds and everything are all based on your animations. So if you're doing a long animation, you cannot attack outside of it. You can't cancel out of it. It's annoying, but it is a thing that exists, unfortunately. Any of the Scorpion mounts would do, to be honest. They're actually fantastic for like leveling. But I'm pretty sure they're all level 40, if I remember correctly. I think I have the black one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's level 40. I like the Abyssal one. It's design, at least. Uh, that's turned thin. So now I need some of the Hungry Coyotes. Then I need the deers. And I think once I hit level 17 is when PC dungeon actually opens up. Which really shouldn't take 
that long to clear. How long has it been? An hour? So this video would probably... No, nah, this video will probably actually be short. How many hunting ones? Wait. Are they over here? Oh, there they are. This is why I like rangers, because it outranges people. They have to run all the way up to that mountain. If I remember correctly, that is a crusader, right? Oh, yeah, Holy Knight Crusader, yep. Now, if I actually had to run towards all of them, that would be a different story. <laughs> they would definitely beat me by speed, but they can't beat me by, like, object. I don't know if they're trying to grief me or just join in at this point. Yeah, I figured. They're looking for attention. But thankfully I can outrange them. And the spawn rates are actually really good in the starting area. It's a good thing I did start out Ranger then. I guess not much is going on. Really. Well, there's an easy way to lose him. A very easy way to lose them. Because they don't know what quest I have. So, to the point where I can just do this. I gave them enough attention. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> like, just bored as shit. Nothing, nothing going on tonight. It is what it is, though. I don't really care. Especially since I'll be going inside a PC soon, anyway. Just very weird behavior for that, though. Uh, which dungeon is this? Wait, is this um this room? I don't know if that's room. I'm not trying to like go too far off my quest right now though. That's gonna be an issue though. Like a lot of the quests that you that you get are quests that you normally just wouldn't really touch. <laughs> so knowing like half of your quests, it, it becomes overwhelming because you look at all these quests. You don't have to accept all of them. You really don't. But if you're a completionist, more power to you. But you really don't have to collect all of them. Uh, I'm gonna go back here. I was about to say, excuse me?
Oh, I got a sniping scroll. Hold up, which one is this? I already have that. Alright, that's useless. So now I can go to Jessica, and I believe I have everything I need here. And if I remember correctly, Jessica's quest leads into the next area. Which is... Sprite Forest. Then I have these other two quests, I gotta figure out where they are. Okay, I gotta go there to complete this quest. Oh yeah, yeah, then that leads into Sprite Forest. Yeah, there's some new players. But again, then again, they're most likely people who are restarting new characters. I think that's the person who's starting a new character. Oh yeah, uh, if you do duo with somebody, and you plan on going through the marriage system, that's going to cost a lot of gold, but it does give really good buffs. Just so that's known. That that exists. Alright, let's go turn in this quest. Take some of these quests out of my book. Oh, it's you. Totally forgot about you. There it is. There's a level up. And there's Prairie Dungeon. Okay, so at level 17, the seal of the dungeon opens up. It tells you exactly where these quests are to talk to these people. There's one of them in KP. There's another one in uh, SM. And there's one in F, well, MF, which is Sprite Forest, yeah. Sister.